Goldwing Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Break one nine, break one nine. Does anybody know the outside current temperature? <laughs> and how frigid is that, Roger? It's about 40 degrees. You see, now I'm showing about 37 degrees on the air temperature. This is your boy Chris out on the Gold Wing, and I'm here to tell you that you can ride your motorcycle all year around. It doesn't matter if it's 30 degrees or 20 degrees, as long as it's not snow and ice. You guys can ride all year round. I'm out here on a beautiful Highway 78 in the northwest corner of the Magnolia, sipping on a, a Folgers hazelnut out of the Yeti cup on the Gold Wing. But I'm here to tell you that you can ride all year around. Don't be intimidated by the cold weather. Don't be intimidated by the temperatures. Don't be intimidated by the weatherman. I'm here to tell you that you can ride all year around. The only way I will not ride is if it's snow and ice. Other than that, I plan on riding and getting out here, enjoying myself. So don't be intimidated just because the temperature is low. I hear a lot of questions. People send me questions about how do I winterize my motorcycle? What's the best way to winterize my motorcycle? The best way that I want to ride my motorcycle is to ride it. I don't plan on putting it up. You know, if it's snowing, if it's ice, you know, I'm not going to get out here and ride. That's the bottom line. You know, because I don't have to. I can just get in my car and ride. But as long as it's not snow and ice, the temperature won't stop me. You know, some of you guys are fur weather riders. You know, a couple of guys I ride with saying, Chris, man, it's not that serious. You know, I'll just ride when the springtime comes. Man, let me tell you, if you enjoy riding, the weather, the temperature shouldn't stop you. Snow and ice could, but the temperature shouldn't. So I'm here to tell you I'm a living witness. Some of you guys have put your bikes up for the motorcycle. You're putting a few additives in the tank and you plan on storing it up. Some of you guys have carburetors. You're running the fuel out because you don't want the ethanol to gum up in your carburetor. Some of you guys are jacking your bikes up, putting them on center stands. You're putting a good coat of wax on it. You're covering it up. You're running out the fuel. You're winterizing your bikes. But let me tell you, man, your boy Chris plans to ride regardless of the temperature. If it's 20 degrees out, I'm riding. If it's 30 degrees out, I'm riding. If it's 40, 50, I'm riding. If it's 150, I might ride. No, but like I said, man, don't let the temperature stop you. You can get out here and ride all year round. Just invest into some good motorcycle gear. I'm wearing my Centurion one-piece suit. Under my Centurion, I am testing out some heated gear. So far, I like what I see, I like what I feel. I'll do a later review on it. I'll talk more about my heated gear. But even when I didn't have heated gear, I still would get out here and ride. If you watch my previous videos, the temperature didn't stop me. A lot of you were sending me comments about you're going to watch or you're going to live through me. You're going to watch my videos and live through me as I ride through the winter season. And you're going to store your motorcycles. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do it, that you can get out here and ride all year around. Don't let the temperature stop you, man. Just buy the right gear. You know, don't try to go out and buy it all in one bundle because motorcycle gear is not cheap. But try to get a little bit here and a little bit there. You know, get some gloves over here, a jacket over there, you know, some pants over here, and pretty soon you should have a 
an assortment of motorcycle gear. You should have a pretty good arsenal, a pretty good a repertoire, as I love to call it, a motorcycle gear. Don't try to go out and buy it all in one time. So just get a little bit here and there and shop during the off season, buy your winter clothes in the summer and buy your summer clothes in the winter and you can save a lot of money and just buy it in pieces. Unless you got it like that where you can just go out there and buy it all at one time, you know, be my guest. But for some of you guys that probably couldn't afford to do it, just buy a little bit here and there, get the gloves here, the boots here, the pants here, the jacket there. And pretty soon you should have a pretty good assortment of winter riding gear and don't let the temperature stop you. I'm here to tell you, you guys are planning on sitting during the winter and just watching my videos, then hey, you can live through me. I have no problem with it. But your boy Chris is gonna be out here riding. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you, so you can do it. I got faith in you. But anyway, drop me some comments down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris. And I'm out here in the cold weather sipping on a, a Folgers hazelnut out of the Yeti cup in the northwest corner of the Magnolia. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. See you. Break one nine for a radio check. Break one nine for a radio check. I appreciate the break, Roger. Do anybody know what the outside temperature is right now? Okay, because I am I was showing somebody saying it was 30 degrees out. Thirty-nine, driver, thirty-nine. Okay, y'all showing about 39, okay. I'm trying to find the outside current temperature. Okay, 40 degrees, okay. I know the weatherman was saying it was 30 degrees out. I wasn't sure if he was correct. 40 degrees. Okay, I appreciate the break. 